Hi friends, I just want to discuss a little bit about the philosophy of mathematics in a very concise way. Now math is all about uh, seeing patterns and finding patterns and you know um, generalizing these patterns into certain set of rules and behaviors and theorems and laws, mathematical laws. Now it's important to realize that this journey is moving from abstract to uh, let's say symbols. In fact, before abstract we have concrete. In fact, a lot of mathematics is actually abstract, but uh, still we try to connect it to the concrete. Uh, so let's say when the child is growing up, he sees these five things and um, let's say five apples or five oranges or five toys. And we, have, we teach the child about uh, that's called like five. So he understands this ab abstract notion of five-ness, this, you know, five things, this five-ness. And we then uh, give it words and we then give it symbols. So from concrete to abstract and abstract to even more um, you know symbols that are more more and more concise in this journey the child sometimes may get lost unless if we are aware that um, where to fill these gaps so it's also important to know that per se even let's say when we are dealing with geometry it's an entirely imaginary world it's you know it's geometry is just a you know completely abstract like when we say about points it doesn't have any size in real life you don't see that segments don't have any width even if you draw a line it has some width so this entire geometry is this world that is uh, completely abstract and uh, it's important that yes we give references to concrete things that help the child to understand but after a certain point we need to stop that dependence and uh, the child uh, when he grows up from the 6th and 7th onwards there will be a lot of things that are completely abstract for which we may not find real life in you know examples something like infinity something like a, a circumference it, it's a collection of infinite points of the circle. Now, infinity itself is, is an abstract notion. So, any which ways, the point is that we need to understand that we are taking the child through this journey of mathematics where he's learning to mathematize, where he's learning to be able to think logically in a structured way. From Geometry is also built from simple axioms, sim simple assumptions and uh, undefined terms. And then we, on top of that, we deduce further and reach more and more conclusions. It's a deductive science. Also, we use inductive reasoning in terms of observing and then generalizing those patterns. So all of these things we need to inculcate in the child rather than just, you know, wanting him to know a lot of formulas or a certain set of rules. Of course, teaching those rules and formulas the right way will eventually lead to that. That's the aim. So that we need to be aware of. So it's important to keep in mind that uh, these aspects about mathematics. One important thing is that it's a language. Now you see that uh, it's a language that is very uh, concise. It's also very precise. Now uh, things have very definite meanings in mathematics. Um, to achieve that precision, sometimes in language we make it more elaborate. But mathematics in fact is unique that it uses symbols. So that precision comes with a lot of conciseness, which is what is unique about mathematics. So in this, this beauty of mathematics, if it's not conveyed well, if the ch ch children are not given clarity about these symbols, the ideas behind the abstract ideas, with the help of concrete examples wherever possible, then this entire journey becomes slightly monotonous and dry, which is not what we want. So to be able to teach well is a lot of fun. It's a joy to teach mathematics well. And if you understand these aspects, then it becomes uh, more easier. Uh, you can be more creative when you know all of this and then be able to you know guide the child well so in the next video I'm, i'll talk about a few strategies relating to these aspects of mathematics that we've seen yeah see you there